We just don't need to be carrying around these wireless keyboards everywhere we go. They're cumbersome, they tie us down. It's not necessary if we're ever going to be wearing our devices. There's no screens. We need a way to input it. TAP represents a whole new way of how we can input our communications to our devices. And once you've introduced something, people know it's there and they can see that it's better. We don't have to rely on this 150-year-old technique. We know we have a better way to input. With TAP, I get to see people enjoying a new way of communicating. It's fantastic. I'm David Schick. I'm the CEO of TAP, and I also invented the technology. TAP is a wearable device. It consists of five rings. They're very comfortable, and there are sensors in it which can determine which of your fingers are touching a surface. You know, I'm just an avid technology buff. I developed the first digital x-ray system for dentists, reducing the dosage by about 90%. I have a certain uh, skill for being able to match these emerging technologies with, with the problems that are on our horizon. Technology is not just something that you go to your desk and you do. It's something that you take with you, and it's something that more and more you want to wear. So how are we going to communicate and control those devices? I started experimenting with lots of different techniques. TAP allows you to create text or commands or really anything just by touching with your fingertips. You can input when you're standing up, sitting down, in any position that you find to be comfortable and healthy for you. You can tap on your body if you don't have a surface available. Um, it's just an amazingly powerful and flexible technology. When we go to trade shows, the response that we get is amazing. Uh, you know, our booth is always packed. Um, and all we do is we just line up a bunch of taps and a bunch of devices and people come up and they start start tapping and it immediately draws a crowd and people's reactions are amazing and it's incredibly gratifying to me just have people say this is literally the coolest thing that I've ever seen this is just instantly a healthier way to write I was the founder and CEO of Photobit. When we first came out with it, Active Pixel CMOS technology, the scientists, the engineers were, oh, never be done, you can't do it. When we did prove that it was done scientifically, again we were rebuffed. We started a landslide, and because of Photobit, that's why you can take pictures today. <laughs> and, you know, it's changed the world. I'm really thrilled to get the opportunity to affect culture, not once, but twice. When David created TAP, it was the first time I felt compelled to leave retirement and throw myself into something new. This is a new way of inputting, just like people didn't take pictures before on their phones. Now we have a way that's so much more natural and easier. The keyboard is over 150 years old. From then to now, we're hunched over our screens. With TAP, it was the other way around. We designed it for humans to be ergonomic. One of the amazing breakthroughs of TAP has been to be able to come out with these learning systems in which people can gain full proficiency in just a couple of hours. And this is a tiny fraction of what it would take to learn how to touch type on a QWERTY keyboard. Where TAP's enormous future lies really is wearable displays. It could be a, a smartwatch or it could be a heads-up display. And for that, um, TAP is a, is a natural solution. TAP could not have been done a few years ago, not without the miniaturization and perfection, some of the algorithmic things that have happened in machine learning and AI. Once you try it, you will know that humans will be tapping.